Their mission is simple. Make sure no kid in Detroit goes without a Christmas. And today, the Detroit Goodfellows, well, they kicked off their effort to make it happen. Our Kim DiGiulio was there. It's a beautiful day to sell some newspapers. Not really, but that doesn't stop the Detroit Goodfellows from doing what they do best, making sure no kitty goes without a Christmas. They sit in the freezing cold selling papers and collecting donations because they want to give or give back. I do it because my kids, uh, when they were seven and eight, they got a good fellow box. That was over 20 years ago. But David Odom remembers the joy those gift packages brought to his children way back then. And that was a Christmas when I was unemployed and couldn't afford candy canes. While some good fellows have been doing this for more than 60 years, others are just getting their first start. Like Natalie Stanzek, she's a seventh grade student who joins her grandpa and her 90 year old great grandpa today. Her grandparents even let her miss a little bit of school to help out with such a great cause. So it's always been a tradition that everybody has carried on, my mom, my grandparents, everybody ever since, what, 1914. The papers they sell are a special Goodfellow edition of the Detroit News and the Detroit Free Press. With the donations collected, Detroit Goodfellows will distribute 33,000 gift packages to needy Detroit area children. The gift boxes are filled with all sorts of things. Clothing and toys and, and books and candy and, and dental supplies, school supplies. They're going to get something for Christmas and without the Goodfellows, they wouldn't have anything. So if you see a Goodfellow out today, make sure to donate. Would you like to buy paper? I would love to. I Great. just need, oh no. I don't have any cash on me. Can online. I donate online? Yes. All right, we'll put the link up at clickondetroit.com. Reporting next to Paul Gross, I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4. Paper. And we it's appreciate a, all their work. It's a buck or whatever you want to give them. I had a, I, luckily, I had a dollar on me in the day. Very good. Paul hunted me down. He always does, doesn't he? <laughs> Local 4 News at 6 is next. Here's Devin 